so do you know why this mountain is white all year round? Can you tell me why? It's because... So this theater here in Heropolis is one of the most intact theater in the world. As you can see there are still some statue there. And those square are where the gladiators and the wild animals will come out. It's a very massive theater actually. I cannot cover it all. And over there in front of me is the Cleopatra's pool and then farther down is the White Mountain or Cotton Castle is what the Turks call it. Hello everyone, so right now I'm here at the World Heritage Site of Pamokali. If you can see at the back, there is a lot of tourist bus because this is a very very popular place. So I'm entering now. We got to go through, and it's very, very warm. And you see a lot of people queuing to enter. So it says here, "Welcome to the heritage side of Pamukkale." I'm going to pass. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Sam. See you later. And you're going to have a body scan. Go through a body scan. So I passed the body scan. I'm I'm ready to go. So I'm entering Heropolis. Uh, that's the Greek word for holy city because many thousands of years ago the Greek cannot explain why the mountain is covered with white so at my back is the white mountain it's called Pamokali so beautiful so why this place is called Pamokali? That's the word, Turkish word, that means cotton castle. And for the Greek, it's called, this place is also called Heropolis because for centuries, Thousands of years ago, nobody can explain why this mountain is always white for all year round. So the Greek thinks it's a gift from God. So they call it Heropolis, the holy city. Beautiful place. So do you know why this mountain is white all year round? Somebody can tell me. It's because it's very rich in the water flowing is very rich in calcium. There's running water underneath. Can you see the water? It's very clear. It's only when it hits the sun, then it evaporates, then it makes it like that. White, very white. Thank you. 
So right now I'm going to step into this small pool which is very rich in calcium can you see it's very white and then I'll go up so I'll give you a 360 degrees of where I am right now from where I stood up Somebody doing paragliding. I don't know if you can see that. So, one thing to remember when you are in this white mountain in Pamokali is that. You are not allowed to come in wearing shoes or slippers. So you have to leave all of them behind. Can you see at my back? All the shoes and slippers are left here. So behind me is the famous Cleopatra's pool here in Denisley. And if you don't know, this is the only pool in the world where underneath is a ruins. And if you can see clearly, there are some columns. So if you are swimming here, you need to be careful before hitting your legs to that very, very hard columns. Because it's ruins. It used to be a Roman bath and then the Turks converted it into a pool and the water also has some healing powers I'm going to have a swim now so in front of me is the theater and if you can see there is a white statue that is where the Hades gate is it's long time ago Greeks believe that in that gate when they uh, put animals inside and then pull them because they need to tie it in a rope when the animals come out it's already dead so they are telling so before they uh, do this they are gathering people and they will show the people that see how these live animals come out dead because this gate is Hades gate actually later on thousands of years later they found out that on here there are some methane gas and other poisonous gas that comes out that makes those wild animals live animals come out dead anyway that's where they call it Hades gate and for now it's covered with bricks so this is the Cleopatra school and I've, as I've told you there are ruins in there and if you can see some columns yeah and if you can see there's a hole in the middle of the column because the way Greek do their columns they cut and put a strong metals inside and then put another one and like the Romans they're more advanced than the Greek they don't do like that so this is Cleopatra's pool. So behind me is the Heropolis Theater. Over here they held gladiator games but as not as what you've seen in the movies. It's a different kind of gladiator. And there is also some wild animals. And it's a very interesting place. So I climb up here and it makes my heart beat goes up as high as 200 beats per minute and it's very very hot at the moment it's 30 degrees Celsius so farther in front of me that silver thing is the south gate of this Heropolis 
and on the other side is the north gate and if you will enter through the north gate it will be very very far walk for you so this is just a part of the Heropolis it's a very massive place there are a lot of puppies also here if you can see plenty of puppies this is what you will pass by as you climb up to the theater I'm just wondering if these flowers are chamomile but one thing for sure those are puppies so this place is also the largest necropolis in the world because as I told in my previous clip they believe that there is a gate of hell and in here there is also gates to heaven so the ancient Greeks, some of them, plenty of them, wants to die in the gates of heaven. But to my surprise, there are a number who wants to be in the gates of Hades. So thousands of thousands of people, those who has illnesses, diseases, come here to bath in Cleopatra's bath there also in the cotton mountain in the white mountain because of its healing property until they died and depending where they want they can go buried to the gates of heaven or to the gates of Hades so I'm going back now to the southern gate and what's my experience here it's a very beautiful place and I really enjoyed it it's just very very warm so this is the southern Byzantine gate beginning of the 5th century built of travertine blocks and reused masonry I hope you enjoyed watching my video and there is a lot of tourists coming pulling in now bye for now so I'm finishing my Amokali day with a fresh mango juice mango very fresh yeah and it's 45 lira and this gentleman just let me pay three euro and fifty pence with a smile can you see them very beautiful turkish gentleman <laughs> <laughs> thank you nice to meet you how to say thank you in turkish nice to meet you oh i'm so glad to bye bye nice girls nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah,